Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Death Stranding Director's Cut working on mobile devices, so that's iPhone or iPad. This game has just been released on the App Store and I'm going to show you the basic tutorial on how to get this to work. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our iPhone or iPad and then go to the App Store and do a search for Death Stranding. Once we do a search for that, what we're going to do is to make a purchase of this game. So it's $19.99 or £19.99 at the moment. And one thing you need to be aware of is that you need to have an iPhone 15 or 15 Pro or above or any of the iPads listed on screen right now. What's great is that a single purchase is going to work for iPhone, iPad and also macOS as well, as long as you're using an Apple Silicon Mac M1, M2 or M3 chip or later. So basically you need to have about 50 gigabytes of space free in order to download and install this game, but it's only going to be actually consuming 12.6 gigabytes of space, but you need to have that 50 gigabytes of space free in order to do the download in the first place. This game can't be downloaded in the background, so what I recommend that you do is to plug in your iPhone into the charger, leave this iPhone connected to a Wi-Fi network and then leave the screen on and then it will basically download for you as long as it's focused on screen. So once the game has downloaded what we're going to do is use the on-screen controls and accept the end user licensing agreement. You can see that here. Just make sure that we get in there using the controls. So there's no touch screen controls here. We have to do it all manually. Ideally you want to be using a paired Bluetooth controller but you can basically control the entire experience from here. So anyway that is how you go ahead and download Death Stranding on an iPhone or an iPad. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.